Hey, hey coyotes. coyotes! Congratulations, you made it all the way through January. Time really does fly. Congrats to all the 8th graders that have chosen their high school. Sage Creek and Carlsbad are both amazing. And to the students who are leaving the district, we'll miss you all. Anyway, this week we have some amazing stories for you, from Knott's Berry Farm to weather reports for the next few weeks. Let's check them out. Our first story for today's show is from our friends Hadley, Sienna, and Sydney. They take us down Knott's Berry Farm and tell us their five favorite rides. Let's see what those are. Hey coyotes! Today we stopped by Knott's Berry Farm to check out five rides you have to go on next time you're there. The first ride we checked out was Hang Time. This ride holds you at the top and then drops you through a bunch of twists and turns. The second ride we checked out was Jaguar. This ride is a great warm up for all the other rides and it's super fun. The third ride we went on was Accelerator. Accelerator is the fastest ride at Mount Berry Farm. The fourth ride we went on was Silver Bullet. The track is above your head so you can see everything around you. Last but not least is Ghost Rider. This is their oldest ride and it's made completely out of wood. Hey eighth graders, Dr. Ecker here. In response to the survey we sent out earlier this year, uh, we are uh, on track to be heading to Knott's Berry Farm at the end of the year in lieu of the eighth grade dance. Super excited about it. Please be on the lookout for more information coming out shortly. What a surprise. No eighth grade dance this year, but a fun trip to Knott's instead. That is so exciting. Now for some more fun, let's check out our fun game called Sprouts. Hey guys, today we're going to teach you how to play a game called Sprouts. So first, you and a friend draw any number of dots you would like. Then, you and your friend are going to take turns drawing one line to connect two dots. And every new line has to have a new dot on it. But the thing is though, if a line, or if a dot has a maximum of three lines touching it, that line, or that dot is unusable for the rest of the game. Other than that, there are only two other rules. That being that a dot can connect to itself, however, that counts as two, and lines cannot cross into each other or intersect. Yep, and basically after that, it's just whoever is the last person to draw a line is the winner. So like in this example right here. Anyway, let's take it back to the anchors. 
Thanks for teaching us all how to play, guys. Yeah, I'll definitely have to try it sometime. Next up, we have an interview with Jenna Woodhall. She is an executive at Brixton, a brand worn all over the campus. Let's see what she has to say. My name is Jenna Woodhall, and I'm currently SVP of Design and Merchandising for Brixton. Brixton, I mean, the biggest inspiration, like I said, is vintage. So um, we always go out and we shop the market and we shop vintage stores and we pick out product with either really great prints that inspire us or great plaids. We also do look at like trend research and we see what's happening in high fashion and make sure that we're blending that in. We are definitely a headwear brand. Brixton launched with just the inspiration of creating these old like vintage driver hats and those are still extremely popular today. A lot of the ones you guys can see behind me right here are our most popular styles. And then we also are really known for flannels. So both on the men's and women's side, our Bowery flannel is one of our most popular. The key to success in an industry like this is really like an, an obsession with the consumer and really, really like loving and understanding who you are designing and producing product for. Otherwise, it becomes just a job and if you have just a job when you're in charge of something creative it's really hard to do. Typical day is uh, a lot of multitasking so I am a mom of two little kids and I get up and make them breakfast, make them their lunches while I'm on usually one or two meetings. They're always making cameos in my meetings and then I get them off to school and I drive to the office and then I meeting hop. So I go from meeting to meeting to meeting. And I think a big thing is I've had to learn how to make sure that I'm not just meeting to meet and that I'm actually productive in those meetings. Then my meetings end. Then I get home and put my kids in the bath and get them to bed and go to sleep and do it all over again. So cool. I learned a lot about what goes on behind the scenes. I know, right? Last but not least, we have a weather report for the next few weeks here in Carlsbad. Take it away, Sebastian. Thank you, anchors. This is the weather for the next three weeks. For this week's weather, we have a warm 67 degrees for today, followed by 71 degrees. And on Sunday, we have a mostly sunny 70, 69 degrees. And on Monday, we have a mostly cloudy 71 degrees. On Tuesday, though, we have a full 69 degrees cloudy day, but luckily we got a nice sunny 68 degrees on Wednesday. Sadly, although, we got another 66 degree cloudy day on Thursday. Good thing that the Fridays are good, because we got a sunny 68 degrees Friday next week. We then got a cool 67 degrees cloudy Saturday. On Sunday, though, we have a mild cloudy 65 degree day and a mostly cloudy day on Monday. On Tuesday, though, we have a sunny 66 degree day and a slightly cloudy 69 degree day on Wednesday. Finally, though, on Thursday, we got another mostly cloudy day with the cold 63 degrees. Thanks for watching the Weather Channel for the three weeks. If you want to know the schedule more clearly, you can check it out right now. Thank you for watching. This is Sebastian reporting at CHMS, saying it back to the anchors. That's all we have for you today, Coyotes. Hope you enjoyed this week's show. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at cms.tv. And subscribe to CMS TV Coyotes on YouTube. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye.